hello welcome this is Sijesh here in this video we can take a look into the installation of active directory so active directory is the uh, product from Microsoft and that provides the directory service as well as the Kerberos so it has LDAP and active directory together so we can use the active directory and we can integrate uh, active directory with the various components so here I am uh, going through the very basic uh, installation which needed for a Hadoop administrator to uh, use. So I am not covering in detail about Active Directory. So you can refer uh, detailed documentation on or videos on Active Directory installation and configuration and best practices. But this will cover the basic part. So how uh, simply we can do the Active Directory installation and integrating uh, I mean especially mainly for integrating with the Hadoop components so we can take a look into this part because the Hadoop administrator may not be uh, knowing much about uh, these tools uh, so uh, for our testing purpose so we can download and evaluate this so first thing we need to do is so we need to uh, download and install uh, Windows 2012 okay I'm using here or you can use the latest version also and uh, uh, so if you are using in a cloud or uh, any uh, cloud platform you can select the, this operating system then uh, once that is done so certain uh, must to do prerequisites so they are like time is very important so you need to synchronize this time or every server in the network should use the same uh, time because the Kerberos may fail if uh, your Active Directory server and your Linux boxes are in different time zone or they are having a different time. And uh, you have to give the proper hostname and other uh, parts so that I will be covering uh, in detail. And then uh, we need to install Active Directory domain services which is nothing but the, uh, that service that provide directory services and uh, certificate service so this is for uh, using LDAP S so you can uh, go to this website Microsoft website and uh, uh, download one day 180 days uh, trial version for that you need to register and uh, download so this will be around 4 gig uh, size file so you can use uh, this uh, image for our testing purpose so the first thing I am going to do is, so I am going to install a Windows Server. So for that I have a VMware workstation. So you can use any virtualization tools, VMware or a virtual box or, or anything that support virtualization. So I am going to create a, a new virtual machine. Okay. So here I am choosing uh, my Windows ISO image so the one which I have downloaded is ISO image and that is saved under this location and using that and continuing then I'm just typing this as AD and the location you can select okay so any look any directory which you feel like you have enough space so choosing the default settings around 2 gig RAM then network everything I mean the most of the things I'm not concerned about the performance or any other factor I just need this operating system installed so selecting everything is default so it will uh, turn on the machine and start installation okay so let me uh, expand this so you are getting the page like this so it takes some time to load uh, initially okay so now uh, so you can see the installation menu has come so that uh, uh, time format and uh, time and uh, currency format so you need to uh, choose India English India English somewhere we have that option yeah English India you can select then install so 
okay so here you can see uh, a couple of uh, options for installation so the first one is without GUI um, this won't give you the GUI option so I'm selecting the second option then continue next then accept the license and do it next so upgrade or install so I'm selecting the install and selecting the drive continue so this will uh, take some time so it has to copy the file and do the installation ok so server has uh, restarted now so I will uh, wait again ok so it is starting ok so this time it's asking for administrator password use some uh, strong password sorry I have not selected right so finish so you have to remember this password so that is the super user or administrator password so it's asking for alt control delete to sign in since uh, we are using uh, VMware uh, virtual machine so you need to use alt control insert rather than alt control delete use the password for admin we have just set and login right so we got a uh, uh, Windows Server 2002 release so once it is uh, started so it automatically uh, start the server manager or else so you on the start menu and just suggestion to start menu you have that option just click you will get a uh, server manager in option and uh, there are multiple ways to do uh, the installation of active directory so uh, one is uh, through graphically and there is uh, there are a lot of uh, powershell script that automates this installation in a uh, single uh, or multiple uh, scripts so I'm using the graphical method so just add roles okay so if this is not there you can just open this from here also open server manager so which is a tool that used for managing the services so we can add a service or active directory the domain services using this add roles and feature okay so I think you will have to wait a few seconds right so uh, you will get this page select the default then use to select the default one role based feature installation next then uh, okay so it's uh, installing on this machine so use the default one right so I need to choose active directory domain uh, services select add features right so this one I have to select then continue okay select that uh, use the default option and continue right so restart this option okay so this will do the restart whenever it's required so now the installation of AD is just started again it takes uh, some time so now uh, we have completed the installation the next step is the configuration is pending it is saying like uh, so the installation is completed uh, configuration is required so you can just click this option promote the server into a domain controller select that okay so here uh, you have you have you can have uh, I mean you can see the three options so existing domain so or add a new domain to existing forest or add a new forest so this is the first time I'm adding uh, uh, this cluster so I can use my uh, domain name or root domain name is hardhoop.com or you can choose any name or if you are al already adding into an existing domain you can choose these two options okay, I'm in my case so this is the first AD server and using the name as hardhoop.com you can choose any name you want continue Okay. So 
the name as displayed next okay so choose the next so select the default again here also select the default okay so it's checking the prerequisites and other thing so you may get some warning also so no problem because actually our intention is to just create a uh, active directory service for integrating with our hadoop services okay and uh, select the install so you if you are doing it in a, a real installation so you need to uh, sort out these issues so one issue i don't have a um, static ip address so that is the one and uh, there are uh, some more issues so i'm ignoring this one and uh, doing the installation i mean the configuration is started So it's going. So it's, it's still in pro progress this installation, and it may take uh, some more time. So it, it's it's uh, completed the installation, and uh, uh, so doing a restart automatically. So so now uh, we have completed the installation and configuration of Active Directory uh, service. So now. Uh, it's completed the installation and uh, started the service so the system is up and running so I, ha I can log in control shift insert then use the password for admin user and uh, you can check uh, this active directory uh, tools from the tools option right so go to the tools then you can see uh, this active directory options which we have installed so you have to choose this active directory users and computer so where you can see the domain you have created and uh, under that so we can create our own organization units or uh, other uh, users and computers etc okay so next thing uh, so some of the uh, services require ldap s for that we need to uh, uh, I mean configure a trust service so for that I am adding one more component role based it's this one and uh, uh, I have to use active directory certificate service add features then next 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 so certificate authority so select the default one then restart then install okay. okay so it's selecting the default one certificate authority then enterprise CA that is the default one then uh, so root CA then create new private key then this also choose the default one then uh, this name I mean this is the certificate authority name and other details so selecting this one also as default then uh, what is the validity so I can just use the 10 years from now so when this uh, certificate will expire and uh, default log location selecting as default then configure okay so now uh, we can see this is completed Close. so now I have added active directory uh, certificate service also So uh, we have installed Active Directory uh, certificate service. Now uh, I will have to um, copy the certificate and uh, distribute to the 
nodes so for that purpose we will take uh, that copy so go to the tool from the server manager tools so certification authority then the select the certificate this is the certificate we created then right click and choose the properties then under general tab view certificate and uh, this is the certificate detail so general detail and certification path so go to the detail and copy to a file so this will save the certificate into one file so we use the base 64 encoded the second option which is the non default so default was der and uh, the file name and uh, where we need to save it so for the sake of convenience i am just uh, writing the name as active directory dot cer and saving it into my desktop finish success so 